Hello everyone. So let's talk about the Mula Office Gang. So interestingly enough, they are Discard plus Trem account. And that is actually really interesting. Which means that, right, discarding, uh, the way it works is that it will delete selectable skills that fit the conditions on the dashboard. Which means that if you were to use two of your skill trees, for example, it could possibly be deleted. This is more prominent in Olga because Olga discards all of this unit's skills. So I think the intended design here is that they don't want you to daring decision twice. If you have two actions on Olga, you will not be able to do this twice because that is incredibly strong. So yeah, another basically they don't want you to do the same thing we did with a uh, uh, railway one where we just kept using the best skills. So that's why this line is here. Take note: defensive and egos do not count. They cannot get discarded, which means that your egos will always activate. Your defense will always activate, and your defense will also uh, trigger and discard one skill of lowest rank because. Pretty much for these two, right? They discard on their defense as well. And then lastly, upon discard, your skills will not activate skill effects or corn effects and will not give ego resources. So most of the time, you will not be playing, for example, your weight up here. Another cool thing about these characters here is that a lot of their moves here are pretty much from uh, LOR. Daring Decision is pretty much Olga's signature uh, card. It's the card that you will spam the most in uh, LOR. Slice is also another card that you will spam quite a lot. But you will rather spam Daring Decision. Most of the time. So, let's talk about the moves. So, the main thing to notice about Stay Calm, right, is that it's gain tremor count if this skill is discarded. And for Gamble, it's also the same gain tremor count if this skill is discarded. So, I'm not going to talk about much about the moves here. They are pretty much generic skill 1s and skill 2s. Uh, the thing about them is that they are meant to be discarded. And Gamble here, your skill 2, also discards and also has the text if it's discarded. So, in, if you have an option between discarding your stay calm uh, or like let's say okay like, let me give you a few scenarios if you get two stay calms right uh, you might want to use one stay calm but you could also use your guard skill to discard your other stay calm which might be actually the better option because you gain something if you discard and you also use your defense right to kind of consume your one uh, your one move so with that right you actually cycle through your deck a little bit faster and then if you get Gamble and Stay Calm, that's really one of the better options because you will be able to attack and discard your Stay Calm. So essentially, the name of the game for discard is to just never play your skill ones as much as possible, which is why the only thing you need to know about Stay Calm is that you gain Tremor Count if this skill is discarded. You pretty much never want to play your Stay Calms. You want to play your Gambles or your Guards in order to get rid of your Stay Calms to get this effect and to get a secondary effect. For example, for Yi Sung, he can just guard a move and then he can also give the he can get rid of the stay calm so that he can cycle into your grinding the molars, which is the main move. The main move, why? Because besides the discarding, you are spending the tremor count you get on yourself, which these two skills here, when you discard, give. And you gain coin power plus Y on a three coin move. Very powerful. And if and you also inflict a certain amount of tremor first. And if the skills spent the tremor count. So this is the main reason why. So you will want to discard this as much as possible to get as much tremor count as possible so that you will be able to grind the molas which spends the tremor count on yourself which lets you burst tremor which lets you inflict defense level down because of this passive. So he's all about getting to this part here. Inflicting X defense level down by bursting tremor on an enemy. So discard, 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 gain tremor count, gain tremor count, gain tremor count and then activate grinding the mulas to do a crazy amount of support for your team at least that's the intention here and then for olga it's almost the exact same thing you would never want to use your one coin move right for example so it's even more prominent here if you get two weight ups use hangover cure to discard your weight up and then slice and daring decision here will be the other moves you use to discard your weight up Daring Decision is interesting because the line says discard all and that is because they don't want you to use two daring decisions that's why they have a discard all. But if you have two, right, this helps you cycle your deck faster. So I don't know. It's a it's a, it's a trade-off. Basically, you only be using one daring decision and one ego button, basically, or one guard button. And then on use here, you spend extra account to gain coin power plus Y, exactly the same as Rain here, Yi Sang. Then you spend this to gain the coin power on a four-coin skill, Humongous. And remember, we're running Yi Sang, which means that we can sun shower Yi Sang in order to get more damage on this. And you inflict tremor, and if the skills spend this, which means they spend this line here, you inflict tremor count. And then you burst, reduce, burst, reduce, burst, reduce. So definitely, 
will add a lot of damage because of this passive. Hopefully the numbers are good, okay? So right now I'm theorizing that this old guy is actually going to do a crazy amount of damage as long as you're running the Tremor Gang. So I really like this design a lot. Olga here is meant to do a lot of damage and discard her weight ups as much as possible so that she can get to this point here. Take note that they do burst and reduce by quite a lot, which means that you're going to need the people that applied the tremor, right? And the main two, guess who? It's Olgar and uh, Rain in the future. Yep. So what she, what Ishmael does here is, is she inflicts plus three tremor count here, and she also generates tremor count on herself, and she also inflicts sinking count as long as she keeps hitting targets with tremor. So she's helping you to uh, reduce enemy sanity or uh, do extra damage to bosses, also inflicts fragility eventually. The main thing here is that she also has this plus three tremor count and she will never burst that tremor count. That's the main thing here. She is positive tremor count plus three. She never ever burst this tremor at all, which means that that tremor count can be used for these guys over here. And Mola Sinclair here literally has this skill tree here where he inflict, he pretty much just applies 10 tremor count to the target. So that is, a pretty big source of tremor count. Uh, besides that, right, uh, these two, you also have your Rose Banner Gang who have some amount of uh, either neutral tremor count application or basically negative amounts of tremor count application. So for this guy over here, he does not have a single source of tremor count application. He only bursts tremor basically and applies debuffs. And then for Gregor here, he does apply two tremor count on his skill two, plus two here. And then after that, he will burst it by two over here on his skill three. Rose Banner will pretty much apply the tremor count herself. And then after that, she will just burst it. And then uh, she's more, more or less self-sufficient here. She also has a plus one on her skill one. So she's pretty much net neutral in terms of tremor count. So the main ones that you'll be feeding this 10 tremor count to are uh, Olga, uh, Rain, and uh, Masalt if you bring him along. But Masalt also reduces tremor count by 3, spends his charge count to increase dagger threshold faster, which lets you get to your uh, lines here. If target is staggered, deal more damage. If target is staggered, deal more damage. And then for these two, it's just a very high damage increase because of their high coins here. So tremor count is looking very interesting. You have some characters that support it as you get to the stagger threshold. And then once you reach the stagger threshold, it's time to unga bunga because your coins here look very, very strong. Uh, I, I admit, I don't know what the coins are. Okay, I, I don't know what the coins actually uh, look like. But it does look like the team has some very strong synergy with each other. Yep. So the intended team comp, I think, is triple rose banner plus four of the molar. The Molar are literally themselves in the future, so you know it just kind of makes sense to slap them together. So I think this team comp already looks very nice. In terms of ego access, I think the main limiters for these two are Wrath and Gluttony. And the Gluttony source, right, is from Gamble, which you only use at a specific time. And then for your skill, uh, for your Gregor here, you can guard and skill one. So you will need to manage this in order to charge up your Glut. And the problem with Glut is that it's needed for quite a few egos. You need it for Sun Shower, and you need it for Otis's uh, uh, Ebony Stem, and you also need it for Gregor's Legitimate. So quite a few good options here for Glut, which is why your Gluttony management needs to be on point. Yeah, I think the main ones you'll be saving for is definitely Sun Shower, because Sun Shower with this team comp is actually really, really strong. You have a uh, Sloth skill here, although it's not really used. Uh, Daring Decision is the main one. And then you also have Explosive Blast. And besides that, uh, you also have Finishing Run-Up with uh, Assault. So you can actually get quite a lot of value because uh, if you forgot, uh, Sun Shower actually provides AoE, uh, AoE uh, Sloth damage up and Sloth power up. So it's really, really powerful. And of course, you know, Sun Shower is Sun Shower is busted. So yeah, it, overall, this Eagle is just going to be winning with this team comp. Sloth, a lot of Sloth. And pretty much all of them generate sloth. You have gamble, you have your guards, like pretty much like look, daring decision, your guard, your skill two, uh and your guard here, your your skill tree, your guard here. Yeah, you you have a lot of sloth. You you will be fine for sure. You also have a lot of pride because skill one rev up and skill one uh are ready to crush, as well as a guard here on the nimble steps. So yeah, you're pretty much good to go on the sun shower and on the Ebony Stem. Ebony Stem is a bit trickier, you need a lot of glut. And the only glut source is either Gamble from this guy, or 
uh, your skill one and skill uh, your skill one and your guard for Rose Banner Gregor. Yeah, but this team comp overall looks really really strong. I am very excited to try it. But the problem I have with it is that I don't have enough tread. Why? Why do you give me such cool team comps? Demotivate me from using this move multiple times and then not give me the treads. Please, I want to try them. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, because you're running Massault with this team, you also have Pursuance. And guess what? Pursuance uses false love, so you're, 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 good, you're good to go. You're good to go, really. Yeah, so you have healing. You have AoE, your wave battles will be fine. And then after that, you have very strong bossing in the form of Tremor. So Tremor Gang, congrats. We have finally hit a breakthrough. If these coins are good. If these coins are like plus ones, like freaking Chef Gregor, then I have nothing to say. Because they are free, I'm a bit worried. I hope that just because they are free, they're not going to be super trash. I hope they're at least like... I, I really hope they're strong, okay? I, if, if these two characters are strong, then we can actually run Tremor as a legitimately like good DPS team comp. Oh man, I don't know. But yeah, that is it for this video, honestly. Uh, I haven't looked at other uh, characters besides these seven here, so if you already identify a few others that we could slap in here for maybe more synergy, then feel free to let me know. But besides that, I'm kind of uh yeah, I'm I'm kind of just uh waiting for a bit more trends. I'm probably not gonna run this team comp. I, this is on my to-do list as well, but holy shit man. No trends. I have no trends. I will be buying that battle pass soon, uh, and so I'll just start thread farming or something, I don't know. But yeah, uh, that will be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And remember to leave your comments on whatever improvements that we could make to this team. And me whether you think that this might be like jumping through hoops, you know. Because like the I think seven section, some people said that I am indeed jumping through hoops. And I also kind of believe that I am jumping through a few hoops in order to make rupture work. And but Trevor Count here does look like it actually kind of works already by itself. So I don't know. Could be could be a stretch, but at the same time I also can't really test it because I don't have the threads for it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you all and goodbye.